Question number 5, first part, find the value of sigma, 6 multiplies 0 0.25 to the power r, where r is uh, starting with 1 and reaches to infinity, okay? So sigma means we will add up all these terms. We can expand this expression like this. Using the values of r, uh, when r is 1, first term will be 0 0.25 to the power 1, okay? Plus, then second term, when r is 2, it will be 0 0.25 whole square plus 6 multiply 0 0.25 uh, whole to the power 3, okay? It continues, okay? If you notice that, this sequence is uh, in GP, r in GP, geometric sequence, geometric progression, okay? Uh, let me remind you what is a geometric progression that is like that. Uh, arithmetic, uh, geometric sequence like that a then ar then ar square then ar cube it continues up to infinity okay and we know that how to sum uh, uh, how to find the sum of geometric sequence there is a formula here if you notice that r is uh, 0 0.25 because 0 0.25 here okay 0 0.25 you can get uh, r by dividing any two terms like 6 multiplied 0 0.25 divided by the first term second term divided by first term third term divided by second term gives you r here it is clear from the sequence that r is 0 0.25, okay? We found the r and then sum to infinity. There is a formula because r is less than 1, we can use this formula a over 1 minus r. Using the values, a is the first term that is 6 multiply 0 0.25 and divide by 1 minus r, r is 0 0.25 by using calculator will get the answer for this part, okay? <clears throat> Once you solve it, it will be 1.5 here, 1.5 divide by 0 0.75, okay? And finally, you get the answer for the first part, that is 2 for sure, okay? 2 is the answer for this part. For second part, we have different sequence, uh, different values given there. A sequence u1, u2, u3 is defined. First uh, term is given, u1 is given, that is 3. And uh, un plus 1, that is uh, equals to un minus 3 divided by un minus 2. Uh, we can get the upcoming terms by using this formula. Let us solve this question here for question number 1, second part. We know that u1 is equals to 3 and un plus 1 is equals to un minus 3 and un minus 2. un minus 3 divided by un minus 2. Okay. So from here we can get easily a second term u2. Because if you use n equals to 1, you will get here u2. 1 plus 1. Okay. So this will be equals to u1 minus 3 divided by u1 minus 2. Now use the value of u, u1, that is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, for sure, answer will be 0. When n equals to 2, uh, we will get u3, for sure, okay, and this will be u2 minus 3 divided by u2 minus 3, uh, sorry, it is minus 2, okay, and now use the value 0 here for u2, uh, so it will be 0 minus 3 divided by 0 minus 2, finally, you get the answer 3 by 2, okay. Or when n equals to sorry, this is n equals to 2, okay, and here n equals to 3. Now we can uh, make the formula for u4, okay. So it will be u3 minus 3 divided by u3 minus 2, and u3 is 3 by 2 minus 3 divided by 3 by 2 minus 2. The numerator will be 2 multiplied 3 is 6. 3 over 2 minus 3 will be equals to minus uh, 3 by 2. Okay. And here we will get here 2 multiplied 2 is negative 4, negative 4 plus 3. It will be equals to minus 1 by. Okay. So for sure this 2 will be cancelled out. And now finally we will get the answer 3.
let us write this sequence in the order okay first term is uh, 3 second term is 0 and third term is 3 by 2 okay if you continue the plug in the values uh, in the above formula uh, if you notice that the fourth term is 3 again okay fourth term is th 3 again fifth term will be 0 for sure and fifth, uh, sixth term will be 3 by 2 so it will uh, start repeating okay like that and it will continue up to n terms okay so uh, we can say that this sequence is periodic because the values uh, start repeating after every three terms okay after three after three values as sequence is repeating after every three terms so we can say that therefore therefore the sequence is sequence is periodic okay first part is done in the second part of uh, second part like b uh, we need to find the order and it is clear uh, uh, from this uh, this combination that order is 3 okay because after every three terms the values are repeating themselves so order will be 3 so this is the answer for this part okay uh, for c hence find uh, the sum of uh, first 70 values un okay for c we need to find sum from 1 to 70 okay un so okay let's go back to these uh, this combination okay up to 70 terms there are 23 such pairs 23 multiplied 3 69 okay so 70th term will be if you go up to this 70th term will be 3 for sure okay this 3 will be the 70th term and uh, from here to here up to here there are 69 69 terms okay 69th term okay uh, there will be 23 such pairs because 23 69 every pair uh, combination has three numbers so 3 divided by 69 divided by 3 so there will be 23 such pairs so if you multiply 23 with this sum you will get the sum of 69 terms and then add up the 70th term 3 okay so you will get the answer here we will multiply 23 with 3 plus 0 plus 3 by 2 okay and add the last 70th term this is 70th term okay this is the sum of 69 terms this is sum of 70th term this is the 70th term and this is the sum of you know, 69 terms okay so 23 multiply 3 plus 3 by 2 9 by 2 plus 3 and finally you get the answer for this part you can use calculator here it will uh, give you the answer 106.5 okay this is the answer for c and question number 5 is done